Hey everyone, Ham for the one here, and today I've got a PSVR aim control in my hand. Now, the reason I've got this is because it's a starting point for the video. Now, currently this is the only controller on the market that offers an all-in-one gun with feedback and native controls, and it's only available for the PlayStation. So, what if you don't have a PlayStation VR, you've got another headset? So, let's jump into what the ProTube is. Ta-da! So what this suspicious looking device lets you do is attach your VR controllers. So in this case, I've got the Oculus Rift S controllers attached to this frame. It's made by a company called ProTube and this particular model is called the MagTube. And the reason it's called the MagTube is because these clip on and off with magnets like so. And the reason I got this is for playing first person shooters in particular onward. Uh, you can obviously use it for any other first person shooter such as Pavlov or Contractors or Gun Club VR. Anything that requires you to keep the controllers lined up because what you'll find without it, if I take these off, in order to shoot uh, most guns in games you need to keep the controls leveled up. Now some of the software does level the controls out for you, however it still doesn't feel like immersive compared to having a proper gun stock which locks the two controls in place. Now the company that makes these is based in France and it's called ProTube VR. Now from what I gather it's quite a small outfit and some of the components it appears they 3D print them and some of the other components look like they're more mass produced. So I think because of the 3D printing element they are quite expensive. Now the ProTube is available in two varieties. There's the ProTube Classic where it's essentially the same looking device. However, the cups are permanently attached to the stock. And then there's this variant, which is the mag tube, which basically means the uh, clips, holders clip on and off with magnets. So if you're in a game and you need to say reload, you can just pull it off or you can throw a grenade. Now, if I just pop one of these off and take a closer look at the, the cup or the holder, um, there's actually a little 3D printed hole here that allows the strap to poke through here. So you can still put your hand through and adjust the strap so it's still attached to your hand. Now they are friction fit, so they do just pop out like that. And it's the same cup that's used for the Rift S and the Oculus. Now the other reason why I went for the MagTube over the standard classic version, uh, not only for grenades, is because I've also got um, the valve index knuckle controllers, which also clip onto here. Now, because of the nature of the index controllers, there's no easy way for the attachment to um, clip in and out. So it's almost a semi-permanent fitting here. You can see there's cable tidies that have been attached to the bottom of the controller. And there's a 3D printed hole here so you can adjust the, the tension on the side strap. Now you can buy both the Classic and the MagTube as either kits that are ready made or as a standard build yourself one. So it's 24 euros if you want to have it uh, ready made. If you fancy building it yourself, it takes about an hour. Um, I've got a time lapse video which is about five minutes which I'm going to play next. Um, if you're not interested in making it yourself, I'll leave a shortcut in the description below so you can just fast forward ahead to the next bit. Thank you. 
So if I was to buy one of these again, I'd probably pay the extra 24 euros and have it ready made because it is a bit of a faff. Uh, but then again, you do get to understand all the uh, mechanics of how it's put together. In terms of adjustability, we've got one quick release adjustment here, which allows the front controller to move up and down the stem on this section. There's also another joint here. So there is a, uh, Allen key that you can use to adjust the middle point. Same for this second controller here, another quick release adjuster so you can then move the controller forwards and backwards. A, another pivot point here so you can adjust it. And one final pivot point at the rear of the stock. So there's one, two, three, four, five different points of adjustment on this. So it's quite flexible. You can have it either tightened up so it won't move at all, or you can loosen it slightly so you can still adjust the grip slightly and it'll lock into certain positions. So depending on what game you're playing, some games require a slight, small amount of adjustment. Uh, I found that onward, once you get one good setup, you can use that for all the weapons pretty much. But when I was trying Gun Club VR, it is a bit more fussy and required some adjustment even with the Allen key. So before I show some game footage, I just thought I'd tell you about the index controls. Now, 
one good thing about these is that because they've got the additional side straps, it's a lot easier to just pull the controller off and put it back on. Now, because the magnetic clip is slightly forward of the controller, it's a bit of a change of positioning if you're switching between two sets. But I imagine if you're consistently using one set of controls, this wouldn't be an issue. The other slight niggly thing though is I can be a little less comfortable than the Rift S and Quest cups because of the strap here. It kind of, if we look here, there's no, um, I guess that's your movement left and right. It's quite rigid. So I think if there were to make a slight alteration to maybe this clamp, if it could have some left, right adjustment, you could then pivot this in slightly. So you're not forced into this very rigid position but I am sort of nitpicking on this, I'd have to say. One other feature I've not pointed out is the actual strap. So I went for the single point. I went for the single strap harness, which clips on the back here. There is another loop, which is uh, here. So you can go for a two point harness if you want, but I think this one point harness that goes over your shoulder works nicely. The ProTube Classic starts at 72 euros and the MagTube starts at 112 euros. Both of those are kits that you have to build yourself. However, you can pay 24 euros on top and have it sent to you pre-made. So just pricing up the setup I've got here, which is for the carbon fiber tubes, the red rear stock, and the carbon black valve index controller clips, that would come to 177 euros plus shipping. Uh, for the Rift S or Quest clips, that comes to 162 euros. So it is slightly cheaper for the Rift S and Quest clips. Okay, this is now freehand, no pro tube. I'm gonna pull the left trigger to steady my aim. Single fire. Pretty good job of doing it without the stop. Good thing in this game, you can adjust the scope quite easy. There we go, nicely lined up. Oh. Charge it. Okay, so the clustering using the uh, mag tube, pro tube. Okay, freehand. Not bad. Okay, all the auto of this pro tube. That initial shot was off. Too bad, got some headshots <laughs> and some to the body. Okay, freehand. I can tell this game's more geared up for using a stock because the movement seems more precise and there seems to be less moving around as if it's trying to do some kind of Software based stock. Right. And this stock feels pretty much where it should be. That feels pretty good. And I can easily much quicker acquiring targets. Something to watch when you're reloading, you don't hit the part of the pro tube. Okay. Let's find 
day difference using the stock in this game. Moving target. Nice. So overall, I think this is a great bit of kit. Yes, it's expensive, but I think because it's modular, you can adapt it as you go along. So you can swap the stock out for the force feedback. You can get the bipod. You can get different clip attachments. It's something that you can keep for some time and modify it as you go along. It definitely improves your aim in games. And I think the key thing for me is that it makes the game feel a lot more immersive. It makes you feel like you're actually holding a rifle rather than two wandering controllers. So I think for that point alone, I definitely recommend you look into getting a stock. Anyway, I'll now finish off this video with some high resolution close-ups of the MagTube. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.